Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to talk about Flutter and MQTT. This is actually an add on to my earlier video on the same topic. So if you have not seen that, I would recommend you to go and watch that and come back to this video after uh, watching that. Essentially, what I'm going to talk about here is on reusing the connection across multiple screens uh, in the earlier app because of the way it is architecture it was not possible to reuse the connection so i uh, many of you have asked me about that so i just tried to give an attempt on making it shared across different screens so that you can reuse the manager and the connection so that's what i have essentially done here now let's have a look at how the app looks like now so if you see this is the new landing page where you have possibility to subscribe to a topic enter a message and to see the logs so here you can see when it is disconnected every field is disabled now let's click on settings button now we can see the whole uh, connection like part is being separated so at any point of time you can come come here and change the connections and all so let's connect to a broker okay now i have connected to this broker now let's go back to the message screen so now you can see that here also it is uh, connected now let's try to subscribe to a topic so now it's successfully subscribed and now we can send messages so now let's uh, bring in another simulator now you have two simulators subscribe to the same topic so let's try to pass some message yeah so now you can see the you can talk to each other across across the simulators using mqtt so this way now we can reuse the mqtt manager across multiple screens and can use and listen to the state so what i have essentially done is uh, basically restructured the the whole project structure uh, to have a better uh, visibility then the main the core change which was happened was in mqtt manager so what i have essentially done is make the mqtt manager or you can call it as a view model itself as a change notifier and whenever any change happens to the state within it you fire a, a listener every other things is almost the same uh, like all the event handlers on subscribe publish etc remains the same on top of that what i have done was i used the get it package uh, to create a singleton instance for mqtt manager and in the main dot dot what i'm doing is i'm uh, passing the mqtt manager as a change notifier provider and uh, getting the singleton instance and passing it uh, down so that both your message screen and settings screen has access so if you see here in the build context you are getting the manager out here and all the widgets are built according to the uh, state so all all build depends upon the either the connection state or the state of the messages so both are being handled separately same in the case of setting screen so here also you get the manager in the build context via provider and start using it to make it work so this way you can share the connection across different screen or you can listen to events uh, happening in the uh, different screens or say for example like if you go to settings and disconnect now if you go back to the main screen you can see that here also the state is being disconnected so it's it's shared across yeah that's essentially what i have done and other things are just ui like 
making sure when things are disconnected disable the controls etc nothing much the major change is to uh, to make the mkdt manager the change uh, the notifier object and use get it to create the mqtt manager as a singleton instance i have tried one more approach to make this work using streams unfortunately it didn't it was not a success because uh, streams cannot be listened by multiple uh, screens uh, you will get a bad state error i tried to change it to a broadcast stream but uh, in sometimes i was getting like connection awaiting and the screen goes for a uh, full time loading loading state so i tried to not to do that approach and instead uh, thought of doing this so at any point of time you need mkdt manager to access anything with respect to mkdt so it was better to make it as a change notifier object yeah and yes this is the result so i will post the link to the code in the description have a look try that out and uh, one more thing like in my previous video also many people asked like how to use uh, secure access or use username and password so in order to do that you need to go to mqtt manager and in, when you create a connection message there is a property like authenticate as so provide the username and password here if you have authentication in your mqtt broker so using that you can uh, make the connection easy yeah that's all i have to say thanks for watching bye bye